Okay, so that is the garden room sanded, filled, sanded, filled. So tomorrow is electrics day. Uh, say goodbye to the wires. I'm so excited. We needed to do a bit more sanding and things like that, so we decided to hold off on the painting, but the electrics. Can I get a drum roll, please? And this heater, oh, it's the dream. So we currently got the rads on. It's actually, I'm actually like hot pocket here. This is 27. Unfortunately, we've got to do some more sand on the all the electrics, but oh, we've got electric, which means any power tools that we need, we can just plug straight in and we've got the spotlights in and we've also got the outdoor lights in as well but I'll, I'll pop in a little bit of video here from the night time so you can properly see but yeah so that's another step done electrics are in thank you to uh, Alex's stepdad for doing that for us brilliant and then he worked really really hard all day to get these electrics done for us so we are truly grateful and then um, now we're going to get to painting Okay, so we've taped up all the plug sockets now and then I've tried to cover everything else with like a bit of plastic. Let's get painting. Okay, so that is the first mist coat done. And it's already starting to dry, which is exciting because you can start to starting to feel a lot brighter in here um, so yeah i've got plans to walk the dog now so i'm gonna go out and do that and then let this dry and i think alex is gonna come back in and do the second coat but yeah it's exciting it feels a lot brighter in here and a bit more like a room now so i'm very excited for it to be completely painted okay so now we've done two mist coats and we have done one normal coat. I think it will definitely need maybe like another coat just to make sure that it's all done. It's really hard to paint in this lighting. So I think tomorrow morning we'll probably come in and realize actually, yeah, we do need another coat. But I'm so impressed with how smooth it looks considering this is not even plastered. This is just plasterboard with some filler. I am pretty impressed. So the only problem we've got is this one wall here. Don't know if it's like where it's located or if the plaster was wet. I really don't know, but you can see the difference. It's just like not taking the paint. So I've tried to just go over it with a brush because obviously the paint goes on a bit thicker with the brush. But I'm gonna bring a heater in here, I think, and see if that'll help. Maybe there's something wrong with that wall. I have no idea, but, um, but yeah, apart from that, I'm really, really impressed. Ew. So I'm gonna go and have some dinner now and then come back and see how it's looking then. Okay, so we're gonna start the floor now and we are gonna use this underlay and it needs to be uh, perpendicular to the way your planks are going. So we're rolling it this way, so our planks can go that way. Okay guys, so I finished the floor. I'll go show you in a minute, but I thought I would just show you the aftermath of putting down laminate floor in. I'm so glad I've actually got this conservatory for projects like this, because I wouldn't want to do this in the actual house, especially if I had a nice house. But um, we used 
a miter saw, an electric miter saw to do sort of like the main, like those sort of cuts. And then to do the intricate cuts around the door, I've used the jigsaw, but I don't know if it's me or the jigsaw, but honestly, I am utter rubbish at cutting the edges, as you can see here. I tried my best and I'll go and show you now after I've tidied it all up, what it actually looks like. Okay, you guys, I've just finished off the flooring now. So this is what it's looking like. Apparently not supposed to do it in a brick pattern, but do you know what, from far away you can't even tell. Plus we're gonna have loads of rugs. So let me just take you over here. Show you from this angle. So yeah, this is, I'm so proud of myself. I don't think you understand. I had no idea I could put laminate flooring down. Now I do, I can't believe it. We put laminate flooring down. I probably shouldn't be this proud of myself, but I am. Let me just pop you on wide angle now so you can see the full room. There we go, and this is it, wide angle. This is the floor. Oh, there's my slippers and my tripod. Yeah, I just finished the floor in my pajamas, can I just say. This is how it's looking. So next up, we've got to put the skirting boards on. So basically we bought these skirting boards uh, for the bedroom only about a year ago and they're plastic. So they won't need any sort of painting or maintenance because they're plastic. So what we're gonna do is take them all off the bedroom wall and get the glue off the back and give them a clean because I can see this one here is quite dirty. Give it a good old clean. And I'm going to repurpose them for in here. So then the skirting boards will match the ones in the house because uh, the house has wooden ones the same style as that. So that'll look pretty cool. And then once that's done, I need to glue them on, silicone them down, and the room inside. Done. We're like days away from this room being done. I am ecstatic. Okay, so these are the skirting boards. So we've had to uh, cut some pieces and join them up, but I will fill all of those sort of anomalies. Well, I've just hidden one with the <laughs> with that. But these are the skirting boards. They are plastic, and they are also from Eurocell, the same people we bought the uh, garden room from. And you can see, kind of like here the plastic edges you don't have to miter anything itself which is quite cool okay so just need to mention we've actually reused these every single piece from our bedroom so we recently bought the plastic skirting boards for our bedroom in the house so they are still quite dirty they're not like up to scratch we're going to give them a good old clean tomorrow and then i'll go around the tops and the bottoms with silicone and it will look proper nice tomorrow. So yeah, I'll probably do that. Uh, oh, I might do it tomorrow, I might do it the next day. But, um, but yeah, that's where we are so far. Skirting boards are in, starting to look like a real room, which is cool. Just need to get that silicone in. Once that silicone's in, it will really f tie together and look really nice. And I'll also silicone down the edges of the doors as well. So. Obviously, I'll need to silicone there, but then 
know, you can see there are gaps between the UPVC and the plasterboard. I'll silicone all up there in, as well. I was gonna cork, but I think I'll just silicone. So yeah, that's for tomorrow or the next day's job. But realistically, we can start moving stuff in. Like I could put a table in here easily and I can still silicone around it. So that is good news, guys. We're getting somewhere. So I just realized I haven't even shown you the armored cable where the electrics come from. So I'll show you that now. See here, the cable comes into the consumer unit inside the garden room. The electric cable runs all the way down here and all the way to the front of the house where our consumer unit inside the house is. So yeah, because we're having a renovation project at the moment, we haven't buried it because it could change location. So we're just keeping it temporary at the, at the moment, but that's basically how we get electrics out here. And then obviously all the other fixings uh, run off that consumer unit. Okay guys, we just got into the garden room. I actually haven't even been in here for like a whole 24 hours. No, sorry, 48 hours. I'm been in here for two days because we are so busy at the moment, we're moving all of our stuff into storage, popping stuff off Facebook Marketplace, and we're also taking a lot of stuff down to the tip. Like, I've actually thrown out now, well, I've thrown out, given to charity five bags of clothes. I've reduced my clothes by about 50%, keeping just like, put like black pieces and things that I can just like, I'm always in black anyway. Um, so yes, Going back to the silicone in, I need to clean all of the uh, skirting boards and then I'm going to be using this Gorilla silicone. So I've used crap silicone in the past, didn't even know that different types of silicone existed, but I wanted to get a good one and it's had good reviews, so I've gone for this one. So I will be siliconing all around the bottom. The skirting boards are plastic, so they do need some sort of beading at the bottom, so I'm going to do that. But honestly, apart from the silicone, I just need access around to the skirt boards. We can move our stuff in, which is so exciting. And um, yes, so I'll probably do a part three of the garden room, which will be next week. And you can see how we like bring all our stuff in and kind of have a little moving out of the house and into the garden room of vlog. Because we're going to be removing our desks. We're going to have a mini kitchen here as well. So we can just be completely separated from the build while it's happening apart from using the shower and the toilet and the sink which is going to be inside the house because if you've been following me for a while you know that we've had our bathroom reason recently so <coughs> i'm going to leave that video here for you but um yes tune in next week to see because honestly guys we're starting the build on the 11th of april it's currently the 30th of march so it's all kicking off very soon so i know you guys are going to want to come along for the journey with us so Stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the bell notification as well because then you get notified when I upload. I will see you in the next video.